today to you, Ma'am Lorente, we will discuss to you the inventory analysis of our chosen product, the DPTC wooden armchair. The goal of this group is to discuss the DPTC wooden armchair, to do an inventory analysis of each component, to discuss the process which the component had undergo, to know the impact of the product, both positive and negative, and lastly, to discuss the manufacturing process of the DBTC wooden armchair. When? In this section, the researcher will be identifying the materials used in making the DBTC wooden armchair and also where the materials came from before making the assembly of the said wooden armchair. The wooden armchair is being ordered and manufactured outside the school premises. First, I will discuss to you the wood that has been used to make the wooden armchair. Uh, the wood is called the lauwan or Philippine mahogany. Philippine mahogany or lauwan used as construction material furniture and cabinets, plywoods, and veneer raw material. This material is used in making the DBTC wooden armchair. White Lao Wan is endemic to the Philippines. White Lao Wan is a large tree reaching up to 50 meters high and 182 centimeters in diameter. First step uh, is selecting trees. Selected trees in area are marked as being ready to cut down or fell. The felling may be done with gasoline powered chainsaw or with large hydraulic shear mounted at on the front of wheel vehicle called fellers. The limbs are removed from the fallen trees with chainsaw. And then the second step is logs are dragged to a loading area. The trim tree trunks or logs are dragged to a loading area by, by wheel vehicles called skidders. The logs are cut to length and are loaded on tra trucks for the trip to the plywood mill where they are stuck in a long pile piles known as log decks. The third step is the debarking. As the logs are needed, they are picked up from the log decks by rubber tire loaders and placed on a chain conveyor. That brings them to the debarking machine. This machine removes the bark, either with sharp tooth grinding wheels or with jet of high pressure water, while the lug is slowly rotated about its long axis. Fourth step is cutting to a length of 8 feet to 8 feet 6 inches. The debark logs are carried into a mill on a chain conveyor where a huge circular saw cuts them into section about 8 feet to 8 feet 6 inches long, suitable for making standard long sheet. This log, this log section are known as pillar blocks. The fifth step is softening the wood. Before the veneer can be cut, the pillar block must be heated and soaked to soften the wood. The blocks may be steamed or immersed in hot water. This process takes to 12 to 40 hours depending on the type of wood, the diameter of the block, and other factors. Step, step 6 is using the pillar lathe. The heated pillar blocks are then transported to the pillar lathe, where they are automatically aligned and then and then fed into the lathe one at a time. As the lathe rotates, the block rapidly about its long axis a full length knife blade feels a continuous sheet of veneer from the surface of the spinning block at a rate of 300 to 80 feet per minute. When the diameter of the block is reduced to 3 to 4 inch, the, the remaining piece of wood known as the pillar core is ejected from the lathe and a new pillar block is fed into the place. As a review, uh, the trees that is cut down 
will be put into the barking machine to remove the bark. Then it will cut to the standard size length and then soak into the hot water to soften and then transported or using the filler block to create a sheet, wooden sheet. The seventh step is cutting into usable weeds. The long sheet of winner emerging from the filler blade may be processed immediately or it may be stored in a long multiple level trace or wound onto rolls. In any case, the next process involves cutting the winner into usable width, usually about 4 to 4 feet 6 inches for making standards. Uh, at the same time, optical sc scanner look for sections with unacceptable defect. And these are clipped out, leaving less than standard width pieces of vinyl. Then, the eighth step is sorting the winners. The section of vinyl are then sorted and stacked according to grade. This may be done manually or may be done automatically using optical scanners. Then, step 9 is fed into a dryer. The wood will be fed into a dryer. Uh, the sorted section are fed into a dryer to reduce their moisture content and allow them to shrink before they are glued together. Then, step 9, the wood will be stuck according to its grain. As the section of vinyl emerge from dryer, they are stuck according to grain. Under which section of additional vinyl spliced on the tape or glued to make pieces suitable for use in inter interior layers where appearance and strength are less important. Step 11 is installing the wood into crossways. Those sections of vinyl will be installed crossways to core in 3 ply sheets or the cross hand in 5 ply sheets are cut into lengths of about 4 feet 3 inches. Then the two, step 12 is laying up and gluing it together. When the appropriate section of vinyl are assembled for a particular run of plywood, the process of laying up and gluing the pieces together begins. This may be done manually or semi-automatically with machines that is available. Step 13 is gluing them together to squeeze. The glued sheets are loaded into multiple opening hot press. Presses can handle 20 to 40 sheets at a time. With each sheet loaded in a separate slot, when all the sheets are loaded, the press squeezes them together under a pressure of about 110 to 200 psi. Step 14 is trimming the wood. The rough sheet then pass to a set of saw which trim them to their final width and length. The rough sheet then pass to a set of saw which trim them to their final width and length. Then the last step is the finished sheet are stuck with a great trademark that gives the buyer information about the exposure rating, grade, mill number, and other factors. As a review of the car scanner, look for section with an acceptable defect and then the wood will be cut into standard length then the wood will be dried into a dryer then the wood will be stick together uh, three woods or five woods at a time then the wood will be pressed together and heated up after that the wood will be trimmed into a standard size. Then the wood is ready for buyers. The next material in our inventory analysis is the frame. Now the material used is the angle bar. And the type of material in which in making the steel bar is the IC1020. The first step in making the angle bar is first it will be mined after the mining process the iron the iron ore will be extracted 
The next, the iron ore will be melted through a blast furnace. And in that blast furnace, the byproduct of this molten ore is the so called molten steel. Primary steel making. Eh, step two is the primary steel making. The molten uh, steel and the steel scrap will be uh, placed on two steps: the BOS and the EAF. In the BOS method, the steel scrap and the molten steel will be placed in a converter, which in the converter it will be blown with oxygen in order to reduce the carbon content up to 0 to 1.5% on the EAF process it will only be placed at electric arcs in order to produce high quality steels step 3 the secondary steel making the molten metal produced on step 2 on the BOS and the EAF will have a change in steel decomposition now Certain elements will be removed through the manipulation of the temperature and product environment which requires the processes of steering, ladle furnace, ladle injection, degracing, and composition adjustment by sealed argon bubbling with oxygen blowing. Step 4, the continuous casting. The produced molten steel on step 3 will be placed on certain cold molds in which in this process it will solidify depending on the mold that is selected which produce certain lengths step 5 the primary forming the solidified steel will be put through through a process called casting in which it will be uh, put to hot rolling this hot rolling will eliminate the defects in the steel in which after this elimination of defects it will achieve specified molds after all these steps after the uh, certain molds have been achieved we will go through step 6 which is the last step the manufacturing fabrication and finishing which in this process, certain uh, processes will be done in order to form the certain steel which requires shaping, machining, joining, coating, heat treatment, and surface treatment. This is the manufacturing process of DBTC wooden archer. First, this is our byproduct. the materials and equipments used in creating this wooden ar armature is first one half inches plywood made fr or from lawan trees one by one with the angle bar with a thickness of 3 six, ten inches six millimeter diameter bolt and nut a welding rod and the equipments are welding machine, hacksaw grinder, hand drill or drill press, paint that is colored black, sandpaper, wood file, and polytack with hardener. The manufacturing process for the plywood is divided into four steps or parts. First is the cutting. Cutting the plywood into its necessary sizes. Second is drilling. Drilling the points where the bolt will be inserted. Smoothing where the sides of the plywood will be sandpapered. And the use, if the use of wood file is necessary will be used in order to cut its sharp edges. And lastly, finishing. In this process, it includes the painting of the plywood. 
the manufacturing process of the angle bar or the frame of the or of our bark by product is divided into six parts or steps. First is cutting, cutting the angle bar into its necessary legs for the frame. Second is drilling, uh, cutting the necessary points where the bolts will be inserted. Second is bending. For some parts or uh, some placement for the frame, there are uh, places where it, the bending of the angle bar is needed. Third is welding. Uh, welding the angle bar, the metal, in, into to for it to be a frame uh, smoothing uh, re removal of the sharp edges and lastly finishing painting it assembly of the DBTC wooden armchair first is placing placing the the cut wood into its uh, necessary sorry location in the frame if you can see the woods that here are in different locations first is for the table second is for the salungpet third is for the sandalan second is fixing in, in the fixing process the bolts will be inserted into the parts wherein the drilling process were made. As you can see, it's here and then at the back of it, it is fixed with the appropriate nut for the bolt. And lastly, finishing. In the finishing process, uh, all angle of the DBTC wooden armchair is checked if there are left there are parts left for sharp edges or some paints are left undone I will discuss to you the impact assessment of this product the wooden armchair first the advantages Advantages. The advantages of this product is that in the process, the manufacturers contributes to the product of chair among schools and certain offices in which can be used by the students and professors, as well as other personnel inside the campus. Also, with the increased production of chairs, some access can be given to any institution to be used likewise. Plywood is used in many applications, such as building houses, in some frames, tables, chairs, etc. It is one of the most widely used resources which are made from production companies. Also, of steel, steel has the highest strength to weight ratio of any building material. It produces consistent material quality because it is produced in strict accordance with national standards. There is no regional variety in quality. It is fire resistant, does not burn, and will not contribute fuel to the spread of fire. It is inorganic material. It will not rot, split, crack, or creep. Steel is easy to disassemble for repairs, alterations. Process less scraps and waste. Scrap is 100% recyclable, slowing aging process with less maintenance. Enhance your sale value. That is the advantages of this product. Oh, yeah. These are the disadvantages of this product. The disadvantage of this product is that with the increase in demand, there is also a need for the increase in supply. Meaning, more cutting of trees in a certain forest in which there is a specific tree 
be cut and used as a chair. Nothing more of trees will affect the biodiversity of certain species and will also contribute to the current problem of the generation, which is global warming. Trees contribute to their environment by providing oxygen, improving air quality, climate, conserving water, preserving soil, and supporting wildlife. During the process of photosynthesis, trees take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen we breathe. According to the U.S. government, one arc of forest absorbs six tons of carbon dioxide and puts out four tons of oxygen. This is enough to meet the annual needs of 18 people. Trees, shrubs, turf also filter air by removing dust and absorbing other pollutants like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. After trees intercept unhealthy particles, rain washes them to the ground. Steel is produced when there is iron ore, which are mined. Disadvantages of steel production from mine is that the visual destruction, acid rain off from mines, deforestation, and hazard faced by the workers. Thank you. Thank you. I'll discuss to you the improvements needed in the DVD Seafood and Armchair. There are only a few options in improving the DVD Seafood and Armchair. Some wooden chairs are missing parts and some chairs are damaged due to overusage and vandalizing. In improving the said product, the researchers suggest the maintenance of the chair must be implemented so that the working life of the product and quality may somehow increase. Also, on the table of the arm, make use of a wood with a more efficient than mahogany, like Nara, Western, Red Cedar, Redwood, and Cypress, which are great in terms of industrial and outdoor uses. Second suggestion of the researchers that instead of a wood to be used in the placements, make use of a polypropylene material commonly used in the production of plastic chairs. Most of the pollution nowadays are caused by plastics, but in terms of recycling, it reduces the pollution and damage caused to the environment. Second suggestion is that instead of wood to be used in the placements, make use of a polypropylene material commonly used in the production of plastic chairs. Most of the pollution nowadays are caused by plastics, but in terms of recycling it, reduces the pollution and damage caused to the environment and one good use is that in using placements in the wooden armchairs this strategy would greatly decrease the use of wood in making chairs and lessen the cutting down of trees